Now, as one of our headline stories, Swatch has lamented the law premium placed on child rights in Ghana. Situations at basic schools in the country remain deplorable and government's efforts are woefully inadequate. Ghana is therefore lagging behind in advancing and promoting a culture of respect for human rights. And this was revealed yesterday as Ghana celebrated the Human Rights Day also. The Commission reports on the poor nature of educational facilities and how this infringes on the rights of the Ghanaian child. They believe the Ghanaian child is obligated to receive good and quality education in conducive environments. After monitoring over 200 public basic schools, Shraj reports that corporal punishment persists in schools. They are worried the 50 peso allocation under the school feeding project is inadequate. They were concerned about the late release and the meager amount of capitation grants which is to assist in the running of public schools. This, the Commission says, undermined the objective of free compulsory universal basic education. On the state of conditions at prisons and correctional centers, the Commission was unhappy about the living condition of inmates. The deprivation of liberty is a punishment by itself. Therefore, state are expected not to aggravate the conditions of prisoners by subjecting them to harsh or inhuman conditions of detention that do not meet the standards the state has committed itself. Decent living conditions in places of detention are essential for the preservation of the detained person's human dignity. The prison services responded by saying that they were aware of situations in the prisons and were taking measures to curb them. They, however, drew Shirat's attention to the annual reviews, which they say were yielding virtually no result in helping them. This year's Human Rights Day was celebrated on the theme, 20 years working for your rights. <laughs>